difference. Oh, it's night and day difference from when I got out of school. We didn't even have computers, you know, when I got out of school. Now, not only do pharmacists have computers, they have a new disease facing them, prescription drug addiction. At Riverside Village Pharmacy on McGavick Pike, they've seen it for themselves. One person went, to, in a two-month period, went to eight doctors and nine different pharmacies. And they had started coming here and I told them I couldn't take care of them unless they came here exclusively. Gary Williams uses Tennessee's controlled substance monitoring database. Any pharmacy that fills prescriptions in the state of Tennessee, they have to report to this every two weeks. We put their name and birthday in there and they, it'll tell us what they've purchased in, uh, since the last reporting period, what the, who the prescriber is, what pharmacy they used. Checking the database before filling a pain medication prescription used to be an option, but Friday, Governor Bill Haslam made it the law. The governor and law enforcement pressed so hard to make that database check a law because in Tennessee, prescription drugs, and in particular painkillers, rank near the top for the most abused drugs in the state. I was kind of surprised, you know, that some of the uh, bigger companies, uh, they, they weren't looking. You could, you could tell they weren't looking. Williams hopes the new law will force those pharmacies to look and hopefully prevent abuse. In Inglewood, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2.